Hey there, it's been a while since I've posted. Um, I've been in a dark place, um, a lot of panic attacks and existential crisis. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to talk about control today because I wanna hear from you whether you think control is a big part of your life or is, is it the part of, part of the human condition or do you think it might be simply a personality regulated thing so say having an eating disorder I know it's a huge part of my life but I'm not sure if it is going to be quite as similar quite similar to people without an eating disorder or have they managed to find that sense of control through other medium media like um, I don't know like if they're a CEO, then they've got their little minions. <laughs> um, or just, I don't know, if you do dot painting, that takes a lot of precision. And um, I don't know, I just I just wanna know. I, I feel like I'm in this crazy land of, I just can't make sense of things I can't see without bias. And I wanna know what your ideas are. So anyway, Entering the hospital is very hard because one gives up a lot of their sense of control over life. Um, simply like um, what, when we eat, what we eat, um, when we take our medication, what we wear, um, including shoes. I go about my day to day life rarely wearing shoes. And now, because Osh is omnipresent and people don't hold the same values that I do, then I'm told to put on shoes a lot. And for me, that's one of my most simple ways of grounding myself. It calms me down. And it's not until I am told to put them on that I realize how much shoes make me feel trapped. It's a simple, really simple thing. And yet, when I feel myself free falling into this place of basically I go into my child mode and I want to rebel and it's like then there's the nursing staff and um, all the the workers here that have to say it's not even necessarily their values but um, they just have to follow the red tape and anyway they become to me like the parent mode and I'm in the child mode and I just want to kick up a fuss and similarly when I'm in that stage before my admission if I'm in a very critical state um, the last thing I want to do is have my hands tied behind my back so we are given the option to be a voluntary or an involuntary patient <laughs> isn't that a bit weird so basically I'm advised that I need to go to hospital and if I say no then they'll keep pushing me subtly and then less subtly until they say well you can be an involuntary patient or you can go in willingly so I have the choice to be an involuntary patient uh, so basically we're manipulated into being a voluntary patient um, it's just annoying and it's, I don't know, it's just frustrating. So that just makes my blood boil when I'm in already a deteriorated mind state and everything is just chaos in my mind and I can look like cool and calm but it's just because my body, I just dissociate and that frustrates me even more because I just want to scream and thrash my body around and just then there's the self-harm merges and the suicidal ideation and inside my mind I'm just blind with rage and on the outside my body's just calm and I don't like to rock the boat I think I've been conditioned quite um, severely not to not to let anything upset anyone and to pay fine attention to people's body language and de manner and just suss them out so that I don't upset anyone 
So of course I refrain from cooking up a fuss, but that just gets suppressed and it has to come out somehow or other. And that's when the eating disorder comes in. Um, an eating disorder gives me a great sense of control and it starts up quite often when a, an adolescent or a teenager feels they have very little control in their life. So then they develop a set of rules that they will follow and if they can tick them off, they get that sense of control and safety. It brings reassurance when those rules are abided by. When, on the other hand, those rules are destroyed or... I can't think of the word, but just... When you don't follow those rules, it's like your life is out of control and anxiety is just absolutely haywire and panic mode sets in, it's the polyvagal theory. We go into the fight or flight or fright mode. Um, and so all of those sort of symptoms arise. Anyway, I wanted to show you a set of the rules that I've been challenging over the years and in this admission especially. So you can see what an eating disorder does to you and ironically it ends up taking control of the human and squeezes them into a smaller and smaller little ball of sand. And it's very hard to dig yourself out of that. Um, so anyway, I wanted to hear from you if you get that sense of control somewhere or if it is part of what you believe is the human condition. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching this tediously long video. I hope you've watched it all the way through, but if not, I understand. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.